Uh, hey guys, I'm going to pour the molten lead. I'm just going to take a second for me to carry it over here since the lead is very heavy. Now, something that's really neat, once this cools off, is that, um, if you pour water on it, just right, yes, um, become a solid, it'll do this London dispersion effect, I think it's called, where the water is actually evaporating, and then that evaporation actually lifts the water, so then the water will, like, jump around, the actual liquid water. It's really neat, <laughs> though, but... I'll have to wait a second before it cools off. Alright, I'm back. And it seems like it's solidified fairly quickly, I guess. You can still see the impurities at the top, but I'm not going to worry about that since I'm not like as if I'm going to sell it. Well, what I mean by sell it is lead is actually a metal, kind of a semi precious metal. It's like, I reckon it's like 50 cents per pound, and lead's heavy, so maybe right there I might be a dollar, a dollar and a half worth of lead, maybe? Lead is actually not the heaviest element out there. Osmium and iridium are the most dense metal. I reckon that if you have a, a cubic foot of it, a, you know, one foot by one foot by one foot of osmium, it will weigh over like 1100 pounds that's pretty amazing gold is also one of the heaviest metals it's like I think 0 0.7 pounds per square inch cubic of it so that's pretty heavy but anyways I'm gonna pour it on here finally I don't know if you can see that very well, but what happened was the gas from the water being evaporated actually vaporized all of it. Maybe you might be able to see it better right there, I don't know. What I really need is this. Pour it all in. Guys, oh. Alright guys, to get a better idea of what it's like for the London dispersion effect, I think it's called this. That's a better example of the um thing. And now it's all completely cooled off and you can see all nearly all of the water has been boiled. But now the um lead is now reasonably safe to touch, although it'll still burn you if you hold it for like longer than a couple of seconds. Something neat about lead is that if you leave it in there too long, it'll like turn yellowish. I don't know why take a look at that right there. I don't want to get too close. Lead can actually explode sometimes for some reason. But I guess that's because the lead is actually burning or the impurities are rising to the top. These are all the billets I made from just that one pan of um, lead. Now these are the um, all the, the billets I have right there. So this was the ones I melted before now. Well before today. And these are the ones I, mel I melted today. All the gather weighs about, I'd say, uh, 50 pounds of all the lead I have together. And that pounds together include all this in there. Goes up maybe f uh, 3 inches of lead. This is um, tire weights. 
I got this from J these from Gerald's. They aren't letting me take as many as I wanted, so I brought this along and they let me take some. Just be sure, guys, remember lead is toxic, so use common sense while you're melting it or around it. Alright, later.